I am Eric. I'm Jillian. <laughs> and we're her sisters. The Striffler the sisters. Sanderson sisters. The Strifflerson sisters. <laughs> we are going to watch Hocus Pocus for the Hallow's Eve Seas. Oh my gosh, happy Halloween. Well, you know who directed it, right? Oh yeah, uh, Tony Ortega. Of High School um, Musical. High School Musical. <laughs> Classic. He He's a man of many, many, many wonders, many talents. Thank you. He also uh, directed That's Titanic, so cool. though. That's weird. Huh? Makes me sick. Oh my God. Betty. I, I'm gonna call her Betty for the whole movie, even though she's not. Okay, I have a thing about. I have. A thing okay, about go this ahead. To say. Uh, all the ladies out there will know what I'm talking about. What? This is when Sarah Jessica Parker peaked. No. Um, Every girl has a group of friends, and every Halloween they're like, let's be the Sanderson sisters, and you know that everyone wants to be Sarah first, and you get stuck being like Parker, Kathy mean? Najimy with the <laughs> vacuum, and there's always the one girl that claims Sarah's character, and like, all right, well, who am I going to be, Bette Midler or this one? Like, Well, no, 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 but Bette Midler would be a good one to be stuck with. So really, you don't want to be stuck with the other hold one. Hold on, I'm talking to my ladies here. So what we need, Yo, ladies! Ladies, what we need are three Sarahs. <laughs> And we just do away with the other two. They'll know what I'm, I'm telling you. They'll know what okay, I'm talking about. Okay. Are you going to wear the red wig or are you going to wear the vacuum? Which one would you like to do? I mean, me, I would wear the vacuum because okay. it'd be funny. Because I'm not. I'm not trying to be sexy. I'm trying to be funny. I'm not doing either of them. I, if I want to be sexy, I'd be this guy. Look at that. Wow. Look God at him damn! Climb. Look at those feet. Let me see those feet. All right. <laughs> Who's your favorite of the sisters, really? Well. Are we talking like fuck Mary Kill? No, <laughs> actually, yeah, we <laughs> are. Fuck Mary Kill, <laughs> fuck Kathy Najini or whatever. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding>. we, <laughs> I mean, like fuck off is what I mean. Whoa. <laughs> All right. <laughs> fuck off is how the game works. <laughs> are we playing fuck off Mary Kill? <laughs> Paul, who are you? These guys are brilliant. Oh yeah, these guys are so underrated. Have we ever so looked great. up to see if they're in things today that we don't know? Like, is that the lead singer of Smash Mouth on the right? I really don't know. <laughs> yes. Is that the host? Is that Mike O'Malley, Dude. host of of uh, of do, do 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 you have it guts? <laughs> <laughs> also, the d wait, gay kid's wait, dad on. Oh. My name, <laughs> my name, my name, oh. My name Aaron no more. It's, it's ice. 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 Baby. So collect your candy. And get out of my life. I want to go home now. Oh God! If that ever happened to me, I think I would cringe into oblivion. Yeah, if yeah. I opened the door for trick or treaters and it was like a brother and sister arguing, and they were like "fuck you" and like ran away, <laughs> they I would say that. cry. They wouldn't Can we say do that, that this Halloween? Can we just go around to houses and be like, you know what? No, you're a tootsie roll and run away. <laughs> we might as well because we already went trick or treating a day early, so. Yeah, we should go a day late. That wouldn't be as fun. <laughs> no, that'd be. Actually. If you want loot, you do go trick or treating the day after because that's when you get all the excess candy. That's why they, we would go out late on on Halloween to get these like super amounts of candy because they'd be like, "I want to go to bed," and they would just dump the bowl into that's your bed. That's what you did last year. No, yeah, yeah, last year. They were a little upset that a 25 year old was at the door, but <laughs> and you waited until was nude. a really <laughs> Stark late nude hour, at 2 a.m. 9 p.m. I was sweating. I was fucking Ew. sweating, and it was freezing out that year. Go figure. What do you call him, Max? Yabos. Yeah, I gotta start using that one. Who I who honestly, if I had Tinder right now, oh, <laughs> I'm taking a breather. <laughs> I was yourself? drowning in. Go ahead, finish that sentence. You were drowning in. I had to take a break from Tinder because I was fucking <laughs> drowning in. You can say yabos. Um, I was gonna say that would be my um, tin that would be my Tinder bio around Halloween. I've never I'm thought so about it. So put off. Let me see them yabos. <laughs> The thing you just did with your face. Honestly, ironically, if that was my Tinder bio, people would love it. Why don't we go to this? Uh, yes. <laughs> because it's they would get it. All girls love this movie. Actually, that's a whole thing. About. Yo, trying to, light, trying to light that black flame candle tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> let's just say, let's just say I ain't able to light that black flame candle if I meet you, girl. <laughs> Wait, that is an incredible <laughs> Tinder bio. Oh my god, I need to. Oh my god, I need to do this. That That's would get me so many RTs ever. on Twitter. It's the funniest thing I've ever heard. That's really good. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Damn it, I'm too late for this year. Next year. You could do it in Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> Be like, remember Halloween? It's still relevant. <laughs> Hashtag remember Halloween. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Wait, can you have, you remember on MySpace how you used to have a song play on Yes, you on can, your profile? on Tinder, but it doesn't auto-play. On Tinder, you could have something auto-play? No, no, but you can attach your and favorite you song. you could be the Halloween You can put your favorite song. Yes, I would, no, I would okay, put, no um, deal. I was about to say, oh, come all you faithful. I would put, um, <laughs> the song that they sing, The Lure of the Children. Oh, right. All right. They're kind of like pedophiles if you think about it. <laughs> no, because they just... Why? Because they're women? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> and that's the problem with society these days, is that uh, women can be pedophiles too. And you've actually, I've never thought about we a woman pedophile wanna, in my life. We don't want to champion women pedophiles. <laughs> actually, yes, all women. <laughs> yeah, actually, yes, all women can. 
and I'd like to see you hold a spoon. We can like, commit all the crimes. I'd that like you to do. see you try to stop a woman from being a pedophile. I and and another thing, and first of all, and furthermore, someone should really like make this. Th a well, thing. this building exists. This building was a uh, like a mu is a museum. I don't know if it's physically still there. But anymore, I want but it, it is, to be is or was like a museum. an attraction. You know what I mean? You like, know where you're gonna find it at Disney. Next, oh, maybe for Halloween, Mickey's gosh. Haunted Halloween or whatever the fuck. Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween sure, Party. Sure, sure, whatever. Um, oh my gosh, guys. Well, it's we only please. that until ten o'clock. We please. Then after that? ten o'clock, it's Mit Mickey's Fucked Up Freak no, Show. That's not actually. That's not. What they <laughs> Here, have you see what they got Minnie doing out there? It's fucking Stop! depraved. Stop! What do you mean? You really want to know? No. What are you talking about? <laughs> that's not the same Disney. You weren't there. I was there. <laughs> okay, you went to the wrong park. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, actually, you I think about it. It was in turn. a basement. You went to Sea World. <laughs> I went to Sea World, and boy, let me tell you, I can show you the world. I don't know what's happening. It's still Disney. I know. <laughs> Stop. I got scared. A virgin lit the candle. Is he not a virgin anymore by lighting the candle? Stop. <laughs> Is he like, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Eric, stop. <laughs> Actually, by the end of this movie. Eric, whatever you're. <laughs> he still could light the black flame candle. Eric, stop. Like, they should. You know what? The sequel that's coming out, Jillian? It should star him, and he's still a virgin, Eric, and he likes to play. You're an idiot. He's like 45 years old. You're an idiot. You! <laughs> I haven't lost my touch, sister. Say. You know what's funny? As a kid, you know what you know you know what I mean. As a kid, certain lines of dialogue don't sound like words. When Absolutely. she was just like, sister, say. I like as a kid, I was like, what the fuck language is she speaking? You know what I mean? Because like I don't understand sort of like the way she's putting it. There's a lot of things Can like you that say that, that happen. Again? Sister, say you're Eric. You're absolutely These are witches I can right. handle. And this is so often in this movie because well, it's so. And the other ridiculous. one for me when I was a kid was Bone Daddy in Nightmare Before Christmas because I was like, wait, that's his fucking son. <laughs> and I was like, I don't get it. And thou wilt fail to save thy friends, just as thou failed to save thy sister. Um, did you ever read the uh, shooting script? When she says what the insult she gives him in the shooting script that they didn't put in the movie. A pussy in life and a pussy in death. <laughs> Eric, are you being serious right now? Yeah, that's in the shooting script. Kenny Ortega wrote it, but... How do you know that? <laughs> I hate you. You think... A pussy. You, you believe it because it's this. good. No, I believe it because it just showed the cat. Yes. I wish you guys could see. Describe how I'm doing it. A pussy in life <laughs> and a pussy in death. <laughs> My stomach hurts. Me. You guys have to. Get a video of it, dumbass. Right. A pussy in life and a pussy in death. <laughs> that voice you do is funny. My witch voice? <laughs> yeah. Swish, swish, wish. Oh, oh. This might have been the first cleavage I ever saw in my life. <laughs> oh. That is so iconic, Jillian, is it not? And right after that, um, Matthew Broderick always wipes a tear. Why do you keep referencing Matthew Broderick? They're married, dummy. Yeah, but he has nothing to do with this. He was definitely there for the filming. No way. Yeah. You think? Yes. Can we confirm or deny that? When did they start dating? We could dating? definitely deny it, but we... Huh? <laughs> when did they start dating? When did they... Really? Like, I don't know, was it after... Up. Yeah, look it up. A just ask, did Matthew Hey, Broderick Siri. When did Ferris Bueller and the hot <laughs> witch from Hocus Pocus start dating? Wow, what a pair that is, actually. Ferris Bueller movies matching Hocus Pocus playing nearby. Yeah, they started dating in like the late 90s. Is that... That's oh, what it just after said. No, no, the early 90s. Yeah, they were dating at this point. No way. I think they met on the set. No, they didn't. Fair, uh, Matthew Broderick was the uh, second AD. Eric. I have put a pen on you. Thank you very much for watching this sample of our commentary track for Hocus Pocus. If you'd like to listen to the entire feature-length commentary track, you can purchase it at prettymuchit.com slash shop, or you can go to patreon.com slash prettymuchit to get this track, along with over a hundred more for various movies and TV shows that we've done over the years, and you can get new ones every single week. My sister Jillian and I hope that you have a very safe and happy Halloween, and remember... A pussy life, and that's pretty much it!